now? Wait. There she go. There you go. Up, come. Sit. No, come here. Come here, heel. Good girl. Down. Come. Good girl. So we're out here at the park again with uh, Athena. Starting to do this every day now. This morning there was, you know, a little bit more distractions. You never know what I'm gonna get here. I could be getting dogs going out on walks, uh, city workers in the back of my truck here. Uh, just people. I mean, there's people everywhere. Not well, not right now, but there's houses everywhere. All these backyards kind of look into the park. So people are out in their backyards doing stuff in the yard, watering the grass, yard work, all that kind of stuff. Uh, there's a highway out here. Cars going by. And uh, so it's a good place to bring her. Because like I said, every day there's a new kind of distraction that we have to overcome and work on. And the more we do it, the more it's just going to become second nature to her. And her being so young, this is, a, this is when you want to do this kind of stuff. Uh, biggest thing is not to get, dis not to get discouraged because it takes time you know you got to build a relationship with your dog they got to they got to know you they got to know your body language and uh, if you just go out there for five minutes and and try to make them walk on a leash or make them come and then get frustrated and don't do it again it's never going to happen so it's just like a relationship with your kids or your wife or your husband you got to work at it and once you get them once you get that relationship and that trust built up things things go qu pretty quick so uh see if i can i'm gonna try to miss some baskets here i'm gonna shoot some baskets and miss them all real quick and i want her to stand or kind of sit and watch me while i play get uh -uh. get back can we can we do this there's no good where to sit it Come on. Down. Wait. She got up. Come here. Down. Good. Wait. Good. Wait.
Good girl. Come here. Come here. Good girl. Good girl. She did awesome. That was great. We've been doing this for, this is our third day practicing this. That's the longest she's been able to hold it, especially when the ball came bouncing right by her. She would have got up for sure yesterday. So we just kept working it. She got up. I just put her back down, told her to wait. Went up, kept, just kept doing the same thing over and over again. Like I said, all, there's nothing magic about it. It's just repetition and patience. So uh, what a good, oh, I know you're a good girl. I know you're a good girl. I hope you learned something from my basketball skills there. In my defense, I have a broken wrist, so I can't bend my wrist when I shoot, so I have to kind of shot put it. So, sucks, but I hit two shots and bricked five. Not bad, huh? All right, we'll see you later. Toodles.